Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, as you all know, I just made a crock pot dinner. Now I'm going to be making some lunch. I know it's only 8.45 in the morning, but my vegetable that I'm going to be making for lunch takes about two, three hours to cook. And then I'm going to be making some egg salad and tuna salad. But that's going to go in the refrigerator. So, um, so here's to make the egg salad. Well, I'm going to start doing the egg salad on this video and then I'm going to finish it on the other one. So, so right now, I'm just filling a pot of water. Like that, basically, to about right here. I'm filling that with water. I'm going to stick that on the stove. I'm going to let that boil. Actually, I'm not going to let that boil because I have an egg in it. <laughs> So I'm just gonna make as many as I can get in here. Two, four, six, seven. I'm gonna make eight. So I'm gonna do eight. And this is gonna be a two-part video. So I gotta show you the too much water in it. So you wanna make sure your eggs are like really that, and they're just barrel, just covered with water. And then you're gonna put it back on the stove. You're gonna put your eggs away. Um, you'll let your eggs cook. I like to let them boil, cook for 15, 12 minutes, not usually 15 minutes, shut them down, cool them off, peel them, and chop them. And I'll show you the whole recipe. But anyway, so I'm getting back to what this pot is for. Um, I'm just gonna make these two much on for lunch. Um, okay. So what you want to do is these are artichoke parts. So they're like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen artichoke parts. So they're just little ones. Uh, usually I go to Walmart and buy the bigger ones. These are small. They're from our local grocery store down the street. They're a little bit smaller than the normal ones I buy. So you're just gonna get them out like that. You're just going to get them out like that. And you're going to move that knife. So I, I like to use a serrated edge one. So let's put this guy on the side. So what you're going to do is you're going to literally cut his bottom off. So that it's them. And I have no use for that. So we'll throw that over here. And then we're going to take his other, the other bottom off. Fly so So anyways, so this one. Alright, so we're gonna take this one. You're gonna lay it on the side, and what you wanna do is you wanna get your knife right here. So like maybe an inch if that. These are small so you don't really have to cut much up. Enough where it opens like this, so you can literally spread them open. And what I do is I spread it open like really a lot, a lot like that. I spread them open. So let me do this one, and then I will show you next. Now I'm going to take, oh, I gotta wash the mirrors. So let's throw that away. And then you're gonna take both of them and you're gonna run water in them. Around them and you're gonna wash them. So then you 
have the two artichokes. What I like to do is I like to take, again, I like to take my oil and I like to sprinkle the whole bottom of the pan with oil. Just And I know people are going to say probably, oh, water, oil, you know, makes, can make a fire. No, I've been doing it. I've been doing this for years. Um, I've been on a very low flame so it doesn't spit. So then I take about... Now I have that I drink out of, not the same one, but one that I had to make for breakfast. That is actually two cups full. It's, it's 16 ounces of this cup. So you're going to take 16 ounces of water and you're going to want to dump it in there because um, you don't want to put a decent amount of water at the bottom because as you're cooking them, they cook for like two, two, two to three hours I usually cook them for. Um, and over that time, the water in the bottom will start to um, decrease. So you're going to want to keep putting water in it. And uh, the little ones like this, I say, I like cooking for now. I'm low, medium, low for about three hours. So um, bigger ones I made the other day. And I kind of messed up and I, you know, cooked them for only three hours. And they were still pretty hard. So I and the little ones, three hours. Bigger ones, four, four and a half hours. Not until they're good enough where you can pull your teeth and pull the vegetable off. So with this, I like to also put, because I like to put some garlic, fresh garlic. So I take about a teaspoon of fresh garlic and I mix that all around in the water. Because if you've had artichokes before, they are very bitter. So then what I like to do is I like to take garlic now because I opened it like that and I'm going to pour literally pour garlic like all in it. I know, oh my god, that's so much garlic, but it needs it because they are very bitter. So just hit the top, pull the leaves apart, get that in there, get that baby in there. So we're going to do that with the next one. And usually like when I was a kid growing up, my mom would make these and she would put, um, breadcrumbs on top, but because I am allergic to gluten, I don't do it. Um, usually you can get gluten-free breadcrumbs, but less calories, you know, it's a vegetable. Eating it because it's healthy. I don't want to overload it with calories. So anyway, so I'm going to do that. And then what I like to do is I like to get some great value Parmesan, just Parmesan and Romano cheese. And I like to put that on top. And then again, you just want to spread that open, get all that cheese in there, just for good flavors. And then stick one, put that one in the pot. And then if you want to squeeze this one open more to get some cheese, I'm going to just put like a ton of garlic. You're going to like that. So then, okay. Then you're going to put the two artichokes in the pan, just like that. And then what I do, so my eggs are starting to boil. So let's put the timer on for 12 minutes, we'll do. So now... We have this, so we have the artichokes. Now I take a little bit more of that, um, the olive oil and I just sprinkle over the top. So then you wanna take your pot, you wanna find the, this isn't the cover for the pot, but um, this pot has never, a cover I don't think so now I'm just gonna put them on the stove and I'm going to turn my stove on to like me low medium like for right now I'm gonna put it on medium but later I'll probably turn it down when it starts cooking more so then you're gonna want to just hover if you can see I just hovered the cover to have it a little bit open to smoke 
that smoke like to steam out. So, okay. Now that that is done, those are on the stove. I'm gonna put my oil away. I'm gonna put everything in right here. I'm going to put everything away. Let's put everything away. So, anyways. Oh no, guys, I don't have enough mayonnaise. Okay, so I guess we're just going to do chicken salad and... I guess I don't have enough of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my sponge. And I'm gonna throw that in the sink just for now. Again, because it feels like I've been cooking all morning, which I have probably. So, um, anyways, so I like to cook though, so that's okay. So I'm going to get. I'm gonna get something for your room. I'm just gonna drain some of my diet sample peach. Or in the same cup, I put the water in because my dirty another cup. Alright, so now. Anyways, okay, so now. I don't know if I have chicken salad, guys. I do. So I have a Okay, I don't even have tuna. That's what it is. Alright, so I have chicken salad. So there's my chicken salad. I have my ranch dressing. I have my tomatoes. And I have a half an onion, which I had from before. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of parsley. And that should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be over here. I'm going to be getting a bowl. You guys can still hear me. You know, I gotta get a better stand for this camera so you can see like what I'm doing all over the place. But for now, it works. Anyway, so I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna open my can of chicken. It's just a 100% chicken breast nature, not under the natural chicken breast, Valley Fresh. I just got it at Walmart. So you want to just open the can. And there's going to be some... So there's some liquid in it. You're just going to want to drain that liquid out. So I do take uh, green leaf lettuce and I put, um, I will wrap it in that couple, make a couple of those and then I will have uh, probably one of the artichokes on the side. So let me just get a dish. So then I'm going to put the chicken salad on the side because I'm just going to take my onion like this. And my onion has like these little weird chunks in it. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to take the onion. We might just have time for the same video to have, make the hard boiled, make the egg salad because there's only six minutes left. So, and so just slice it down like that way and then I'm going to slice it along it this way. And then I'm just going to make little slices, just little slices. Okay? Mm, I'm not going to use this whole onion because that's a lot of onion. So I'm just going to do like around that. We're going to put... Yeah. All right, put that over to the side, and then I just have some little Greek tomatoes, and I'm going to put. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to open 
that. I'm gonna throw that on the floor, but we'll pick it up later after. So what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna make some slices. Now this is easier because when I put it inside the lettuce ball wrap, I don't have to um, cut tomatoes and then cut onions and you know do all that. It's just all together and uh, just throw it right in the wrap and good to go. And uh, so then I'm cutting tomatoes. I love tomatoes, so I'm gonna just put them all in there. And if you guys want to see me cook anything else, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me cook. I love to cook, so I can cook anything. Um, maybe if I need to find a recipe for it, I just know it off the top of my head. Um, I did go to culinary school for a while, years ago, so. Okay, so that's going there. Let's put some in. We don't need that anymore. So, we're just going to get a spoon. And we're gonna spread this all around. It looks so yummy. Mm. So then we're gonna spoon this all around. And that looks really good. So we're gonna do that. And then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit. I don't want to put too much. My garlic powder is very overpowering. And then I'm gonna take some parsley. And I'm gonna shake the parsley into just cover it. Alright. Then I'm going to take my head pan just fell. Then I'm just gonna take yeah, I have some hidden valley ranch dressing. So what I'm gonna do is um So we're going to do this is one of my tablespoons. So it says for two tablespoons it's 130 calories. So we got one, a little bit extra two. I'm gonna try three. So it's like a certain half. And I mean I'm not gonna eat all this, so I'm gonna share a little bit. I just had to take something to drink because my mouth is very dry. So that's the chicken salad. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the soil. And we're just gonna cover that. I want to stick that in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Chokes are like the water is starting to boil. Actually, I think we need to put it. No, we're, I'm gonna put it more just because I think after my video and post it and everything, I'm gonna lay down and take a nap for a little bit. So I don't want the water to run out. So we're just gonna have another cup full of water. And now, because it was boiling, we're just gonna turn it down in between medium and Sit still, put the cover on the same way. So then, these eggs should be done. We're going to shut the eggs down. And now, what I do is I take the eggs over to my sink and I'm going to pour the hot water out. Okay, and 
then I like to fill the cold water in. Cold water. So then I just make sure the bottom's not too hot because I can burn my gas right away. So that's the egg. We're gonna put some cold water. There's cold water in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some ice cubes. And this just gets them to cool down real quick. So you can quickly get them cooled down uh, and crack them, get them in a bowl, and start making your egg salad. Because I mean, normally I would let them cool down, but before the video, I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, let's put that over there. We have the mayonnaise, which you can use any mayonnaise, I'm just using some off brand mayonnaise. Um, All right, let's let that cool off for a minute or two. Um, and then what I like to do is I'm going to put some to the side. I do need to wipe those because there's some mayonnaise. something over here. All right. So let's put that over there. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. You're so cute. So now I'm going to get... want to get the shell off and I have eight to do so once I show you the first one I will uh, quickly go through so then you just want okay so then there's shell so then what you do is you're gonna turn your water on rinse all the extra shells off and stick them in your little and then you just keep down the road with that so I didn't put the timer on for my options okay so um I'm gonna say just put them on for three hours. It doesn't matter how long you guys cook them. I guess it doesn't work. It doesn't really matter. It's equate that actually. Yep, three hours start. The longer you cook them, the more flavor they're gonna have and the easier they're gonna be to eat. That's the way I see it. Um they're actually shelling pretty easily these eggs. So, anyways, I'm going to just keep doing that. I just love to cook, guys, um, for quite some time. November 17th, well, we can do story time, I guess, because I'm feeling. November 17th, I had woken up. I have taken, I took a nap because I have avascular necrosis which I will talk about that in another video. It's a bone disease. It's, um, a bone disease I have. But I'll talk about that in So anyway, so I was in a lot of pain. I had taken my medicine. November 17th this was. I had taken my medicine. And I took it about 1 o'clock, I want to say, in the afternoon. And um, I had laid back down. My medicine kicked in. I had laid back down. I had taken a nap. I was going to work. I still do DoorDash once in a while, if I feel up to it. Right now, I'm really not supposed to be working because of my legs, so, um, my hips, so, <laughs> you know, cooking is probably the only thing that's pretty much fun for me right now, and, um, I'd like to share that with you and, you know, make videos and, you know, the story times where I'm cooking and trying to, you know, peel eggs. <laughs> so anyway, so November 17th, I had got up at five o'clock and I said to my fiance, I opened our bedroom door and I said, wow, something smells like a burning smell. And he said, yeah, I know. I'm going to try to figure out what it is. We, I said, okay, we'll figure out what it is and, you know, throw it away. So then 
Sorry, that's right. It doesn't move on my door. So, um, I had gone to work, and within less than an hour, I had gotten a phone call that my house was on fire. Um, didn't believe it, because I was like, wow, my house, I've never had a fire, never experienced one, never been in one. You know, I didn't believe it. Um, and then my fiance said, get home, the house is on fire. I said, okay, get everybody out and get the cats out, get my dad out, get yourself out, just get out and call 911. So that's what he did. He took, got everybody out, um, got the cats out, got my dad out. We, um, I didn't, still didn't think it was real. I went to drop the order off that I had and then I turned on the scanner and I heard um, structural fire and my address and at that point I knew it was really real. I keep hearing something, sorry. Um, at that point I caused the cat. <laughs> Thought it was something behind me. At that point I raised home so quick and I literally saw what to me I thought my house was just like the whole that I live in a town here so I thought to me it looked like the fire had spread like to everybody's apartment, everybody's townhouse and I felt terrible. Like I didn't even know what to do with that time. I was screaming and I literally was doing 70 miles an hour and a 30 mile an hour zone. I was flying past the cars. I was Oh man, I was so just shooken up. I didn't know what to do. I was running past red lights. Luckily, I was doing it in a safe manner where I would, you know, slow down, make sure nobody was coming, and then I would go. Um, but I, know, I probably shouldn't have did it. But I did it, but I was petrified. My house was on fire. I didn't know what to do. So I went, got home. I pulled into the development. I see all the fire engines, ambulances, people everywhere. And I pull over and I said to the guy, can I get through? And he said, ma'am, you have to go around the other way. We're dealing with a fire. And I said, sir, that is my house on fire. So he said, oh my God, get out of the car. He said, park your car right here. Get out of the car. Oh, what I'm doing right now is I'm smashing the eggs. But eggs held because I'm done with all the eggs. So he said, ma'am, get out of the car. Park your car right here. Get out of the car and go, go do what you like basically you know take care of it um you know see what's going on so it's very everything's very like dreamy to me like i can remember it but i it just feels like it was a dream so i had um got out of the car and a woman came up to me and she said are you okay and i was like yeah i'm fine i you know, I wasn't inside. My dad and my fiance and the cats were. She said, oh my God, somebody told me that a woman burnt her hands. And I said, what? Like, I was really confused. So I said, I don't know what's going on. So I walked away from her. And then I had gone, found, I was crying. I didn't know where anybody was. Like, at this point, I didn't know where my dad was. I didn't know where my fiance was. Didn't know where my cats were. I was just so out of it. So I said, oh my God, I see the smoke coming from my house, so the fire, I, all the firemen, you know, they have to put a big fan in my bedroom, go pushing out the window, pushing smoke out, and I'm like literally breaking down, and somebody, luckily one of the, um, luckily one of the um, ambulance drivers, I knew who he was, and he told me, you know, he said, you're not safe in that ambulance, um, behind near next to your house I mean like the one next to where my house was and then my dad was in the other one that was up the street and in somebody's driveway so I raced over to my fiance and both of them both ambulances and you know both of them had smoke inhalation they had gotten rushed to the hospital here I am with two of my cats nowhere to go it's freezing out I don't know what to do so my neighbor thank god for my neighbors because my one neighbor let me come to the house and call you know Red Cross and call my insurance company and whatnot. And I sewed everything out over there. Thank God for her. She was very nice and opened her door for me, to me. And she watched my cats while I figured some stuff out. 
And then my other neighbor, who no longer lives there, he moved out while we were displaced. Um, he had um, taken my cats in for a few hours while I can run up to the hospital and meet with Red Cross and um, get a hotel for us. Sorry, guys, I'm just, when I think about it, it just makes me teary eyed. Um, been through a lot. And then, you know, and then Red Cross met me at the hospital and I went, got a hotel, got the animals, my cats there, got my dad, my fiance there. And we were there for probably a good month and a week before our house was fixed. Um, thank God for the sprinkler systems because if it wasn't there, the fire would have been a lot worse. We had a lot of smoke, water damage. Um, we did have a lot of smoke damage. Our whole computer room was destroyed, a lot of articles. Um, thank God I had renter's insurance. Um, you know, I'm not worried about the materialistic things because I did have insurance. I was just lucky that everybody got out with their life that night. So here it is. It's January. So it's January and I think it's like January 12th or 13th. And um, we are back in our house. Uh, we all are of our lives. We have most. I don't, want, I don't want to say everything was replaced because my insurance with depreciation didn't cover everything. Um, but we have our, what we need to live. And um, yeah, it's really scary. Like, please, if you rent, get renter's insurance. It literally costs nothing. With your. So now I'm going to. Hold on, I'll finish my story. So now I'm just gonna take some mayonnaise. I don't know how much is in here, but it's like half a bottle, maybe a third of the bottle. So we're just gonna squirt it on. So, um, back to my story. So please get runners and turns. It was, it saved me from a lot of a big headache. Um, I mean, I had people there helping me, you know, but I wouldn't know what to do. Have I not had that runner's insurance? And guys, it's literally, I live in New York, so with my car insurance and my rental insurance, it's $150 a month. Like, it's literally, I think about not even, it's probably free because it, it's probably free with my, because I get a um, savings when I bundle, so it's probably free. So it doesn't, and it, if, if not, it costs like ten dollars, guys. It saves a whole lot of trouble and stress and anxiety if you have to go through what I went through. Um, I have State Farm, and they were more than willing to help me with everything that I've I went through. But anyway, so now I'm, I got to put more mayonnaise in this. Maybe another time I'll tell you more and I'll show you more pictures and stuff of the fire. But you know, this is my cooking <laughs> show, and I figured I'd let you a little know about you know what's been going on the last year and why you know I was posting for a while and then all of a sudden you know bam nothing. I just had a, been having a really rough year. So let's hope 2020 2020 is your year for. So anyways, so then you're just going to take a little foil, I'm not so like, we'll, we'll just speed this up here, I'm going to put it in the sink. So all you're going to do is you're going to put aluminum foil on this, put this in the refrigerator till lunch, and then it should be cold by then. And then you have your chicken salad, and then your artichokes, I will show you how they are cooking, and then, there we go, the artichokes are cooking nicely. See how the water is like just draining, draining, and draining, and draining. You just want to keep that water a decent height. So they will burn. So, anyways, let me give you an update on our dinner. There's the chicken that's cooking nicely, and then that is the. So, anyways, if you like, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> if you like my video, um, comment down below. Subscribe. Let me know if you guys want any other videos for cooking like 
kind of videos you would like to see. Uh, I'm open for any kind of videos. Right now I'm just doing some cooking videos and that's about it. So thanks, have a good night. Oh, and also, sorry, no, I didn't mean to shut it off right there. I will be posting a video, a short video later of just um, how the chicken came out and that's maybe how I make my cream cheese bites, which are like chocolate, uh, it's like chocolate cheesecake, but without the crust. Anyways, have a great day. Comment, like, subscribe.